Hello friends, my name is Pawan. In this video, we will create our first Corcus application. In the previous video, I explained about the basic of this Corcus, how this Corcus is built, difference between the Spring Boot and the Corcus. Uh, that, that is the introductory video. So if you not watch that video, please check the link in the description. In this video, we will build one Corcus first application. To build the application, we need minimum Java 11 or greater you can use any id so in this video i will use the intellij id and build tool i will use the maven so so carcos provide us the environment to create the application so you you need to go on the code.carcos.io so in that you, you have to select this group artifact build, build tool version java version start date start code everything so let's jump on the you have to go to the url code.corcus.io uh, so this is group group is called as your company name or your the organization name so here you you have to add the, your company website so i am adding one sample website that is power tricks second is the artifact artifact is the your application name so it is our application name suppose first corcus application uh, you can use any build tool so you can use cradle or kotlin any so here i am using the maven so i am selecting the maven version that is the your version of the application java so here we are using the java 11 but uh, my recommendation is you have to use the uh, at least java 17 but the minimum requirement is the java 11 the starter code let's uh, leave it cs i will explain what is the starter code after that we need to add the dependencies so we uh, suppose uh, let's let's take this is the rest is the reactive and this is the reactive jackson so this is for the reactive application but this is our first application so that's why I will add the rest easy rest easy classic so I am selecting this so by using this classic dependency we can build the imperative application in the further video we will develop the reactive application also but uh, to keep this first application is simple so that's why I selected this rest easy classic okay and uh, click on this generate application once the application is generated so this is the this is uh, which uh, you can build how you can build the application that so just download the application now the application is uh, downloaded so extract it extract this application and and open in the IntelliJ so i paste this application in my workspace i am opening the intellij after opening the intellij we have to install one plugin that is the corcus tool actually this plugin is provide the environment for over the corcus application so if you are using IntelliJ, I will show you the step how to install this Corcus tool plugin and uh, similar similar path you can follow in the Eclipse also. So our IntelliJ is open and I imported the, this first project. Uh, if, if you want to know how to import this, just click on file. After that, this is the open. And now select the project okay so select project and okay okay so this project will open and you can open in the same window or the other window and as per your requirement so i am closing this so so i, I will show you how to download the plugin so click on the file after that go to settings
in setting here search the plugins so after that click on the plugin and here search the corcus tool okay click on this marketplace and here you can see this is corcus tool okay so i already installed after that just restart your id so after installing this carcos tool uh, restart your id now i will explain the folder structure of this corcus project so this is our corcus application here you can see this is dot mvn uh, suppose you create uh, this application on this uh, corcus.io link then it will automatically create this dot mvn folder and this is the maven inbuilt maven you can see after that this is the src folder in the main uh, we have the docker in this docker folder you will see all the docker docker related uh, files the commands everything in the further video we will we will create this uh, image and we will put this image in the container so don't worry about this docker in the further next video i will explain this everything about this docker after that is java and this is the greeting resource so i already told you that so the starter code will leave with this yes suppose we leave this starter code yes then it will create this file greeting resource file and it will by default it will create this create this code if we not select the yes the starter code then this file will not create okay so after that this is the application dot properties file in that application dot properties file you have to configure your uh, corcus application properties in the further video we will configure the properties so don't worry about this the after that we have this test folder in that test folder we will write the JUnit test cases so in detail I will explain in the next videos how to write the test cases so don't worry about this also the next is the pom.xml so in pom.xml we have this compiler version project build and Java version so I will explain this so and uh, uh, let's check the dependency now so we added a two dependency first dependency that uh, corcus rest easy and second is the uh, corcus rest easy jackson so this jackson dependency is used for our output converted convert in the json and also we have the many uh, more dependency to support this uh, corcus project like the j j unit to write the j unit test cases so this is our pom so whenever we need it uh, in the further application i will explain that part so don't worry about this next is we have to run the project right so to run the project we have the two commands this is mvnw corcus dev and mvn corcus dev so what is the difference between to get this command so suppose in your system you don't have the maven right then you can go with this command mvnw and if you if you already have the maven in your system then you can if you already have the maven in your system so you can use this maven corcus dev okay so we will go with we will go with the inbuilt uh, inbuilt maven inbuilt maven so dot mvnw corcus colon dev so i am running i am running this application i added this command in the terminal there are the multiple ways to run the application so i will show you how to configure this configuration in in the maven in the corcus so that that part i will also explain you can see our application is uh, successfully run 
so here you can see it is listening on the http localhost 8080 so let's check this port okay go and i will hit this 8080 Now you can see this Quarkus page. So means our application is running fine. And uh, it is the by default is created this code, hello. And in that it is uh, returning the hello rest easy response. So suppose we trigger this API, we, we will get this hello rest easy response. So let's try this that also. So localhost 8080 and localhost 8080 and hello so here you can see you will get this uh, response that is hello rest easy so congratulations we built our first application in the corcus some point so you can mention in the comment so i will definitely try to improve myself in the further videos so this is all about thank you